It's Tetris piece number four. Looks like we need some amber pieces there. Lips in a hand. These are all the senses. Can you name them all? You can name all of the senses. Come on now, chat. This is interactive. This is a test. Oh, that makes more sense to me. But I'm just, it felt like we were on a, a boat. But maybe the boat's somehow got a view. Or maybe that guess where we are has a view. Look at that. So, yeah, we've got taste, scent, sight, touch, and hearing. Yep. All right, cool. Very good. And I guess there's a sixth sense, right? That's all the fictional stuff. Good job. You folks know your senses. Meat mallet. Do your wonder... No. No such luck. Alright. Yeah, definitely the dolphin is something that makes me think we're on Dolphin Island. <laughs> I think too hard? Okay. That's kind of a rude game. Alright, Tetris piece number four. We need the fifth one. So what exactly am I going to detonate? Maybe here? No. Tape it up. No. Let's have a look at... Uh, oops, not here. Let's have a look at our map. Oh, I see. The terrace, the kitchen, the cold room. So we were kidnapped by the villains or whatever, the henchmen and brought to Dolphin Island. Alright, makes more sense to me now. Dude, what can you do? Oh. Nothing, apparently. Oh, something's here. What the heck am I doing? Oh! <laughs> Balloons. We have got great aim. Holy cow. A skull key? Oh, that's like way, way back. I don't know, maybe it was just here. Never mind. I thought it was way back, but I was wrong. Open up, please. Now we've got dynamite. Wow, this is dangerous. Tape it together. Add a detonator. So now we're an explosive expert. So, where should we go, then? We need to blow something up. Oh, and I just saw a collectible. Camera collectible. Up the elevator here. Maybe this is what we're going to do? Seems a little destructive, but... <laughs> I like how he ducked. That was awesome. I like the smell of napalm in the morning. Oh, what? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Isn't that from a movie? So, what do we have here? We have a metal hand. And what do we have here? A mechanical fish. Ooh, there's our Tetris solution. Napalm, isn't that like from the Vietnam War or something? Like it's a chemical uh, like chemical weapon or something from Vietnam? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. So we don't really know what... Oh, I see. We need a battery. Oh. So what exactly am I doing with this guy? Somebody removed his fins? How rude. Oh, is that from Apocalypse, Apocalypse Now? Okay, I, I had no idea. I just, I've heard the saying before. Ooh. Cool sounds. How does that even work? Uh, sure. 
There we go. A box cutter. Oh, look at this CD. Holy cow. When was the last time anyone ever used a CD? Come on, chat. When was the last time you used a CD? Like an actual blank CD like that. I Put need your... to take a closer look at what's going on. Project Indigo, under the leadership of Alan Howard. Main areas of the project, human paranormal abilities, researching methods of transferring innate skills, manufacture growth stimulants to augment new generation, clinical tests of drugs on living organisms, including humans. Oh, you guys are using those CDs? Wow, I can't think of the last time I ever used a CD. To make like MP3 CD or what? There used to be a time when you would put your resume on a CD, like one of those little micro CDs. I don't know what they're called, but those little tiny ones. Now we just email them. Transferring the abilities from bearer to patient. So he basically wants to take all of the kids' powers. Wow. The neuro Eric, machine. I don't know how to explain what's happening here, but we need to let people know about the experiments on children. That rat-faced senator should be punished. Test results, deviations in the psyche of tested children, severe headaches, violent behavior, partial or complete memory loss. Neuro machine requires precise calibration. Christine Price, age 14, telekinesis, telekinesis, telekinesis. During testing, control was lost and the subject managed to escape the laboratory. Last seen entering the deep jungle of the island, subsequent attempts to recapture have failed. Perished, well that's sad. I sent the information to the security service and transferred our position data. Help is on the way. There's a lighthouse on the island. We should turn it on. We'd be easier to find. Welcome to the chat, Void Girl. The AOL Internet Access CDs. Wow. <laughs> what was that, the 90s? I don't even remember exactly. Would you get like a free month of something like that with the AOL Access CDs? Those that was where the joke of uh, CD coasters came from. If you collect enough of those CDs. True, a lot of the older games you, you buy on CD or what do you have? I actually have a very small collection of games on CD as well. Nothing on floppy drive or floppy disk, but definitely a few on CDs. Like I've got the StarCraft series, I've got the Diablo series. Uh, I actually have a few hidden object games. When I first started doing recording of hidden object games, I bought a, some CDs, you know those multi-pack CDs where you get like three or four games? That's how I started actually, doing hidden object games. Strange Cases and, jeez, uh, what was the other one? But anyways, yeah, no, CDs are definitely something that uh, kind of gone away like the dodo bird. I just use Steam, I use Big Fish Games, and a few other digital places. I, you know, for Nancy Drew, any new game from Nancy Drew, I buy right off the her, her interactive site. Yeah. So the audio levels do seem a little bit uh, off, but that might have been just the one time deal there, so I don't know, we'll see. Really? The three of which three Mystery Case File games are free on Steam right now? It's gotta be the earlier one. Okay, so the hand should go here. And our fishy you get a fin. So we still have our box cutter. That's good for us. I'm not sure if I can cut this. Nope. Let's look at our handy dandy map. So something to do here. Oh. Was this a code that we got? 
Yes, it was. Okay. So here. Something like this. Yep. What the heck is this? Oh, I see. Okay. I really like this. This is neat. High techy. Not sure what the right strategy is for this one, but. Other than brute force. There we go. Oh, really? Huntsville and two of the Ravenhurst? Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, definitely if you don't have those early Mystery Case File games, you can get them for free on Steam. That, to me, is ideal. So let's see here. Map, what's going on here? So we have an access card. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can scrape this off of here now. There we go. That sounded like packing tape to me. <laughs> Everyone know what packing tape? That really wide, like, clear tape that you put on boxes? That's what that sounded like there. Uh, so what do we... We just got the, the lips, so let's go and slap those lips on there. Access card, go! Let's go inside! What the heck is this? Who's doing that? That was. I broke it. Oops! Sorry! Somebody failed the test, it wasn't me. <laughs> this is great! Two petals are missing. Oh, collectible. Oh, piggy bank, hello. Time for you to meet our meat mallet. Petal number one. Oh, look at the Lego. I like Lego. Fish fin number two. And now we have a battery that was in his mouth. For some strange reason. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kevin is fighting with him and winning. I need to get in that room and turn off the machine before something bad happens. Oh no! What? A film critic? Crazy achievement is that. My fingerprint won't work. That gem is too high for me to reach. Okay, we need one more leaf thing. So how am I? Sp oh, I need somebody's fingerprint. I gotta lift it off of something. I have this uh, tape here. Now, where would I get a fingerprint? Let's see here. Lighthouse apparently has an opportunity for a fingerprint. Uh, oh, the battery can go here. Okay. It's a puzzle. Oh, it's one of these kind of puzzles, is it? Okay, so that's not obviously it. Uh, gotta be a diagonal here. Nope. So, maybe if I do this. Oh, too many wires. So this is not getting me to. Come on, get out of there. One, two, okay, now I've got three here. Oh, you know what, I bet you it goes like that. Okay, what am I doing here? One, two, 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 one. Okay, so what am I missing? Oh, I see. Click the green button. Whoa, I can do it again? 
Holy cow. Alright, fine, we'll do it again. So... Uh, let's see here. That gets me two, that gets me four, that gets me five. That one's gotta go there. Wow, one more time for good luck, apparently. So four, you say? This one gets two, one. Uh, so how am I supposed to get four here? Hmm. No, oh, that's not right. So that's four, that's one, that's three. I need one here. Um. Not sure where to put this last one. What does it say? Oh, those two are wrong. Oh! Okay. How do I... Oh, wow. Holy cow. Made me start all over again? That can't be good. So, let's see. That's three there. Oh, that can't be there. Uh, so that can't be like that, maybe. One, three, two, two, four. See, this one's not right. This one's gotta be three. Uh, what if I do that? Maybe that, no. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I saw I had three on the two. And I do it again here. See, this has got two now as well. So I'm just not sure which one I want to move. That's th what I'm struggling with is the four and the four here. Uh, so three. Now that one needs two. I don't even know what to do here. This is two, this is two, this is four, this is one, three. So now I've got this one with only four. This one's stuck with two as well. Uh, what about this? Yay! Ooh, let there be light. Send my signal. What does that actually do? Look at that. Aha! Oh, I gotta go back here still. Okay. A laser key. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, we have light for sure. Let's have a look at our map here. Neuro Lab. Laser keys all over the place. I'm really excited to be doing lasers. We're going to take a quick little break. Uh, this is going to be kind of a time where I go and get myself a fresh cup of tea or coffee. And uh, you folks can sort of relax and chill for a few moments and I'll be right back. <laughs> 